Your handiwork, sire. In the beginning, there was chaos. How did it go with the dragon? It had a hard landing, impaled on a tree, but it's still alive. I don't kill dragons. The sorceresses could still use it. Roach, it may be one of the last living dragons. I can't simply slaughter it. All right, it's simple then. We need to get rid of Philippa. I'll leave you the honor. We'll get them, Witcher. The sorceresses have it coming. Radovid and the other kings already ordered firewood to be gathered for the pyres. What about the council and the conclave? I'd sooner expect the proclamation of an inquisitorial synod. Not all sorceresses deserve the stake. Uh, you can't make an omelette. Without breaking some eggs, I know. How is the future Queen of Temeria? She's safe. She's even started to speak. Old Natalis tried to give her a doll. Know what she said? How would I? That she wants no more toys. She wants a sword. And to learn how to fight. She wants to avenge her father's death. What did you do? Gave her my special forces dagger. I'll teach her to defend herself. Natalis will teach her the art of war. She'll be a good queen. I can feel it. What about Letho? Did you capture him? Not entirely. Meaning? Letho awaits you in the former Temerian camp. He sent a messenger. Let's go. Tell me what happened here on the way. Pillage, rape, murder. Not necessarily in that order. Who on whom? The kings let their troops loose. They were supposed to deal with just the treacherous sorceresses, but they quickly decided every mage was a traitor. The soldiers vastly outnumbered the mages, who could do nothing with the magical blockade still in place throughout the city. When the rulers left the city surrounded by their armored cordons, soldiers in loose mobs went on a mage hunt. Most of the noted and powerful managed to flee. The others were hounded to death. I want to help. Their eyes need to be opened. They must see. They're dead. I am too. But I opened my eyes and saw... <laughs> what did you see? Peace Summit. Peace Summit. Peace Summit. The world's gone mad. Let's get out of here. I heard something. There he is! Radovid wants his head! For the eternal fire! For honor!
That's no rumor. How do you know? From Sheila. She was surprisingly knowledgeable. It was the Guardians. Lesso. Triss. All right. Let's end this. No, Roach. I'm going alone. Why, Geralt? Take care of Triss. Wait for me at the city gate. If I'm not back within the hour, leave without me. But... Just do it, Roach. Please. I need to deal with this alone. Are you all right? Yes. He saved me from the Nilf Guardians. And defended me from the troops. Time to end this. Roach is waiting. I'll join you soon. Geralt, he knows a lot. I know, Triss. That's why we need to talk. Don't get killed, Witcher. I won't. Took you a while? Is that bobble from Sheila's megascope? Mm-hmm. My final prank. I switched the diamonds. The one in the Megascope has a flaw, minute, but just large enough to warp the teleport. The Emperor's magic theorists assured me the effect would be spectacular. I let her escape. You're heartless. You've no idea what the Royal Witch Hunters have in store for her. A lot of pain for a long time. I don't doubt it. So. Ready to lay your cards out on the table? No matter the game, there comes a point when all the players need to show their cards. I love that moment. But first... Vodka. I suppose my throat's a little dry? In that case, let's drink to old friendships. Recovered your memory yet? Not entirely. Remember how we first met? Yeah, I saved your life. Couldn't think of a nicer way to pay me back? Frankly, I couldn't. I mean, taking care of another man's woman, Yennefer. I can't fathom what you saw in her, but I suppose there's no accounting for taste. The Winter Solstice 1270. Admitted there, the night of magic. Letho wasn't lying, the hunt had stopped. At the hanged man's tree, the spectral riders selected from among those they had taken. Yennefer was among them. A wraith cannot be killed, only driven away. Every witcher knows that. Yet the riders fell beneath the blows of our witcher's blades. Crimson blood flowed from under their dead men's armor. We could not kill them all. They were simply too many. A stalemate. He was different from all other elves. There was no shame in his gaze. He had never suffered persecution. He had endured no massacres. Humans had not taken his land. This elf was not of this world. He was an invader. We struck a deal. My soul for that of Yennefer. He agreed without hesitation. Back with me, friend. Got the feeling you left for a minute. Memories. I remember the hanged man's tree and the wild hunt. I remember the exchange. Me for Yennefer. So, cards out on the table. Unless you chase me all that way just to kill me. I chased you for lots of reasons. You owe me some explanations to start with. Let's say I do. Tell me about Yennefer. What happened after I departed? 
She was feverish for several days, delirious, in agony. We thought that was it. She was on her way out. Somehow she recovered. But even then she was disoriented. Amnesia like you. What then? Well, the woman turned out to be quite a character. Throwing temper tantrums. Trying to seduce Ox. Trying to drive a wedge between us. After you so nobly sacrificed yourself, we thought it'd be dumb just to leave her somewhere. She wouldn't have survived more than a month. The whims and vigor of a duchess, but she was just a sorceress with no memory. We were in the heart of the Empire. And as I'm sure you know, Geralt, in Nilfgaard, mages who behave like that either drop their bad habits quickly, or are drawn and quartered by horses in the middle of Victory Square. So I heard. So we set out, wandered through the provinces. Everywhere we went, she got in trouble and we pulled her out. And then one day they captured us. The Imperial Secret Police. Me, Ark, Sarit and Yennefer. Imperial Secret Police? Mm-hmm. We were separated and they questioned us. Long and thoroughly. But it was uneventful. No violence. That's how I met Vatia de Rideau. And a couple of weeks later, the Emperor himself. Me. A simple witcher. What happened to Yennefer? I don't know. Never saw her again. The Emperor offered me a mission in the Northern Kingdoms. As for Yennefer, I had the feeling she was somehow important to Emir. As I see it, they learned of the Lodge from her. Those Imperial spooks have their ways. All I heard is that Vatier had his men watch Yennefer closely throughout the time she was at the palace. And then we went off to slay the kings of the north. And that's where my knowledge ends. So she's in the Empire? She was when I left. How did you know where we'd find the Wild Hunt? Every Witcher who wears the Viper around his neck knows the place. We had so many books and scrolls about the hunt that I used to think our school was founded for the very purpose of solving the riddle of the Spectral Riders. Know who they are? You know the true identities of the Riders? From what I understand, they're some damn elven race. But they turned out to be a big ruse. The legendary omen of war proved to be a fairground attraction. No Market Square mage could possibly conjure up a cavalcade of wraiths speeding across the sky. Then there's the amnesia. No, there's something more, I assure you. Go ahead and enlighten me. I can tell you want to. There are a lot of legends and myths about it, but the Wild Hunt is a fact. I've fought and killed many of its wraiths. They were spectral emanations, the avatars of real riders. The riders we ran into by the hanged man's tree. Are you telling me you were carried off by elves? Real material sons of bitches like the ordinary kind we deal with in this world? They may be ordinary in their world, but they're strangers in ours. The conjunction of spheres, know the theory. Do you know how monsters appeared in our world? There's not a witcher who doesn't know that. So you know there are other spheres. The most powerful of our mages can open passages between these worlds, and they usually do that to summon the monsters we then have to hunt. The elves we saw come from another world, and they weren't summoned. They found the way on their own. It's not exactly easy, so they usually send their spectral emanations. They come in person on special missions. As they did for you and Yennefer. So, elves from another world and their trained wraiths. What do they want from you? I've got an idea. But that's not your concern. How did a Witcher agree to kill humans at another human's bidding? At the Emperor's bidding, Geralt. And he's no ordinary human. 
The rulers of the North come up to about where his Pauline's end. Why? Simple. He promised to rebuild the school of the Viper. The Witcher's Order where I came to be. Witcher's schools in the South fell into ruin long ago. And Witchers themselves became internal exiles, banned from entering most cities. Besides Seret and Ox, I know of two other Witchers of the School of the Viper who should be alive and on the path. I don't know where they are. Haven't seen them for years. Now they can come out of hiding. They can come home. Why are you still here? Why did you wait for me this time? I knew you wouldn't give up. I knew you'd pursue me. And I don't aim to hide anymore. Fact is, only you know the truth about me. Well, and a couple of folks whose word isn't worth spit anymore. I never saw you as a foe. I want to go my way. But if I have to fight you first, so be it. This story ends here and now. Care to tell me what it was all about? Hmm. Kill as many rulers as we could. Lay the blame on the sorceresses. Breed chaos. Prepare the north. Soften it before the invasion. And you know what's incredible? We could not have imagined more fertile soil. No matter what the war's outcome, the northern monarchs will accuse one another, pursue their God-given rights, seek vengeance and be at each other's throats for years to come. The north resembles a whorehouse on fire, as your friend Dandelion would say. I'm talking. Let's finish this. Wanna fight? Any vodka left in that bottle? A swig apiece. Here. Imperial army is probably crossing the Yoruga as we speak. Pure pandemonium will ensue. The North's finished. Time to go south, where the good life awaits. You're a fool, Metho. Both you and your Emperor are forgetting one thing. Misfortune brings people together. Very shortly, the North could be united like never before, thanks to you. But that's just not my concern anymore. I'm not your foe. I never was. Let me walk away and I will. You'll never see me again. Force me to fight. And this time I'll kill you. I've learned all I wanted to know. I can feel the memories coming back. Your death won't change a thing. Go where you will. Just like that. No threats. No words of wisdom. Are you going or not? <sighs> Farewell, Geralt.
The Witcher had traveled far and wide in search of the Kingslayers. In Flotsam, he slew Bernard Lerito, but few mourned for the Commandant. Flotsam remained to Marion, while command of the garrison in town went to a Vizima noble, a sworn enemy of Kedwin and an avid angler. To this day, folk gather round bonfires in Lavendon to hear of the Witcher's deeds. The Witcher witnessed a great Kedwini victory in Edirne. At Vergen, Hensel's army crushed Saskia the Dragonslayer's motley force, ending the springtime of races. Soldiers of the Unicorn swarmed over the Pontar Valley. As it had before, powerful Kedwen swallowed Upper Edirne whole. Yet subsequent events would render Hensel's triumph short-lived. With Fultest slain, Temeria's barons began to vie for the throne. Many dreamt of donning the crown, yet none could assemble the allies required to snatch it. The kingdom's last hope, as it teetered at the edge of civil war, lay in little Anais. Natalis was named regent and ruled the land, yet the girl was the living symbol of the realm's salvaged unity. A tempest descended on the north, at least partly the work of manipulative mages. It seemed the turmoil in Temeria, Edirn, and Kedwin would benefit them most. Common folk turned against sorceresses and all magic freaks, witchers included. Castles that had hitherto welcomed mavens of the magic arts now shut their gates to any who sought shelter there. A witch hunt ensued. It was a time of great uncertainty, of rape accomplished by royal decree. Yet as troubled as the day seemed, we, who had in some way shaped the world's fate, finally received some respite. Zoltan resumed the quest for his beloved's hand, and I laid my head in the laps of the muses. Who could have known this tempest which had ravaged the north was but a harbinger of darker days, and the preamble to an entirely new tale of Geralt of Rivia. <laughs>